stand up in humility and look at all great families and feel those voices that we have, even those that's incarcerated, even though we are, you are already here. And all those things that's in the name. Amen. Amen. We welcome our guests that are here today, those that travel far and those that came from here. We welcome you in the house of the Lord to exalt him and make a joyful noise. You may sing, shout, clap, and dance today. Most of all, allow God to have his way. We hope to please you with all that we do in your name, Jesus. We welcome you. Amen.
Father, we ask you to bless the gift and bless those that have the gift. Now, Father, as we present this offering to you, Father, we ask that you will bless it now, make it what you would have to be. Press down, shake it together, and let it go. We know that you can, we know that you will. So we say thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's children say, Amen. Amen.
honoring God. Because when I went to the club, nobody could beat me doing what I was doing. Now y'all can y'all can y'all can have your own experience. I ain't talking about me. I ain't talking about you. See, I, I remember where I come from. I remember the life that I experienced. And I'm so appreciative of being a what they call it, a native of Corner Island. Yes, come on. Some people scared to tell folk where they're from. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I am, folk ask me where I'm from. I joyfully say, Quaker Island. Right. Just happen to live in the camp. <laughs> Amen. So, 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 so here's something I want to give to you. In, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 24, it says, Therefore, whoever hears, are y'all young people here? Y'all with me? Say hello. hello. Say hello. Y'all free? Say hello. hello. There's no shame. Say hello. hello. All right. Listen at this. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine, say, hear these sayings of mine. Hear these of mine. Come on, young people. Y'all do better than that. Now, if I pull out $100, who going to make some noise? I do. Know. All the time. And does them, I will liken them to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended. The floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall. For it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on the that house and it fell and great was his fall. And so it was when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as described. In this text we have two individuals. We have two individuals. The one that hears and the one that do not hear. So what I want to talk about just for a few minutes, I want to talk about experiencing life in HD. Y'all know what HD is? Huh? Say it again, Pastor. <coughs> Most of y'all today love high definition. You can buy your big screen TV. The latest technology. You want it high def. So when I say experiencing life in HD, I'm talking about experiencing life in hearing and doing. If you hear, you're going to be like a wise man. Mm -hmm. If you do not hear, you're going to be like a foolish man. Okay. But here's the problem where we've been tricked. See, my partner, my brother, my friend, brother the night. See, sometimes people forget about you when you get in the Lord. You become holier than that. <laughs> But I always check on my pockets. I'm still the same individual. The only difference is I understand my purpose now. And I'm going to share something with you about understanding purpose. See, when you come to the Lord, they tell you, give your life to the Lord, boy. Give your life to the Lord, girl. Guess what? Everything going to be all right. But you're going to find out in this text that the same song <laughs> gonna hit you whether you obey God or not obey God. And some of us are upset with God today because we've been experiencing storms. But the difference is, is the foundation that you build on. <laughs> Anytime they get ready to build large buildings or tall buildings, they always dig deep in the ground, 20 feet, 30 feet, 50 feet, until they hit rock. Yes, sir. And when they hit rock, then they drill in the rock to be able to stabilize rebar in the rock and begin to pour concrete up on the rebar on the rock. So when they begin to build, it's able to stay. And many of us have not built our lives in the Lord. We built it in church activity. Right. And that's why when the storm hits you, you can't stand. You want to throw up your hands and quit. You want to run back to the old life. Go back to the old way of doing. Guess what? You have to understand that whether saved or unsaved, you're going to go through some trouble. You're going to go through some trials. You're going to go through some tests. You're going to experience some pain. Amen. Yes, you want to experience it. You experience the loss of loved one. You experience the loss of some maybe a limb, maybe of your health. But guess what? You have to build your life. 
know anything about the earth that's built with water. I don't, go to, I don't care if you go into the ocean. They can drill deep into the ocean. Why do you think those oil rigs, the oil stations are still stationary in the ocean? Because they drilled deep and even in the ocean and found rock to be able to stay. Many of us give up on life because our life is not built on rock. It's built on church activity, wouldn't it? They told me if I just come to church and shout and throw my hands and praise the Lord, everything going to be all right. But then I found out the more I praise the Lord, the more I throw my hands, the more hell I'm going through. I don't know to come or stay, to go or leave. What do I need to do? But what I'm telling you, young people, is the greatest thing you can do in life is to give your life to the Lord, commit yourself to the Lord, dig your relationship, dig deep out into the Word of God, which is stable. Amen. We understand. He said, He said, hear it. Give me some water. Amen. <laughs> now, see, that's how we miss it. I said, Give me some water. He don't want somebody heard. <laughs> to hear is listen with the intent to do. <laughs> See, everybody else just listen. You're not hearing. When you hear, you move. So many times God speaks, you never move. And you wonder why you never experience what God promised because you're not moving. You're just listening. So Jesus said he just hear it. Listen with the intent to obey. Come on. Will be like a wise man that built this house. Let me, let me explain to you. I, I talked about experience of life in HD. Experience of life. What is life? Let me break this down for you right quick. Life, the word AL means living. In Genesis chapter 2, um, verse 7 through 9, it says that God formed man from the dust of the ground and man became a, a blew into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul of living being. Do do life, living. I thought I was alive, brother, why when I was getting high, smoking, running the street, playing, running from here, running from there, because I thought I was having fun, I thought I was living. I was just living for the world. I thought I was getting up for the toughness. I thought I was enjoying life. But I didn't find out that I was living until I found purpose. And purpose, brothers and sisters, is the original intent in the mind of the creator that motivated him to create a particular thing. What motivated God to create you? Let me throw this at you too while we own it. Never judge your potential by your present state. Come on, man. Regardless of where you're at in life right now, don't try to judge your potential. Well, I can't do it because I don't have. I'll never be because this ain't happening. No, never judge your potential by your present state. Amen. Because right. what you see is something to change. It will change. Yeah. Y'all remember when you was a two size? Confusion and refusing in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, I got something I'm going to present to you in just a few seconds, but I want you to understand that in a race, in this event, everyone has a lane. Amen. That's right. And you have to find your lane and run in that lane. And, and even in a community, there's a house here, a house there, a house there. You wasting too much time when you spend your time looking at somebody else's house. Yeah. Whoa! They grass is beautiful. They yard is so lovely. How come our yard ain't like that? Your yard all right. You just don't know they, been, they got true green coming by the spring. All this stuff in the yard. Look, it looks real. It looks real. It looks good. I ain't telling you not to keep talking to the true green up. <laughs> but I, I want you to see something that if you stay in your lane and focus on your purpose, the community right, will go right. down. We was talking before we came here. That's why we run a little late. We got a little conversation about hospitality. And I was telling I remember my grandma and, 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 and great grandma and, and the people in the community, if, if one needs some sugar, they can go next door and get it. If one needs some butter, they can go next door and get it. The community was concerned about each other. Right. Wasn't worried about trying to outdo one of them. They was concerned about each other. But the problem we had today is, right. ooh, you sound better than her. You sound better than her. Amen. She saw how I. See, now you're coming in a competition. Right. When sound is beautiful, when it's in harmony. Right. And when it's good, one want to We haven't gotten so far out of harmony with one another. That's why there's a lot of stuff going on in our churches, our congregation. Amen. This side, man with that side. That side, man with that side. Back there, man with the front. Front, man with the back. From the back to the front. They all man. <laughs> and we can't experience the power of God, but we want our drunk uncle to come in. He said, oh, he said so much confusion. He said, you know what? I'm going to let y'all have a little bit. I'm going to stay out here, and at least I got a little piece out here. Y'all keep up too much hell in there. Watch y'all leave hell and go into more hell. We want, we want people's lives to change, and we got to be the change that they need to see. Right. That's right. You do not lose your originality when you give your life to the Lord. You just discover who you really are. Mm -hmm. right. Regardless of where you see me at, I'm going to be great. I like to have fun. I'm humorous. Mm -hmm. Don't take it personal. If we play a spade, anybody know that about spade, young people? Amen. You know something about spade? Don't take it personal. Yeah, because I tell them, Pastor, listen, ask the Lord for mercy. I'm all out. <laughs> I'm all out. Because I can show you no mercy. <laughs> so, 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 so experience of life, the word, the word, the letter L means, means living. So when you find yourself in God, then you begin to live. The word I means in, in Christ, in Him. In Him is the fullness of life. Acts chapter 17, it's like Paul talks about, it, 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 he said this, he said this, he says, listen, in Him, we live, we move, and have our being. I didn't find out until I started moving, until I found myself in Him. All right. See, sometimes you can get so religious and not be in Him. Amen. Religious is your way of trying to get to God and cause God to do something. But being in Him, let me give y'all another good, good illustration right quick. Uh, Jesus and his disciples was on the boat. And a storm arose. Now, was the disciples in the storm? Or was the boat in the storm and the disciples inside the boat that was in the storm? So the boat was in the storm. You, they thought they was in the storm. But they was in the boat that was in the storm. And while they was in the boat, guess who was in the boat with them sleep? Jesus. So sometimes you find yourself in a storm, but if you're in Christ, you're in Christ in the storm. And then you become more than a conqueror in the storm. Because they build a boat to withstand the pressure of storms. You have been built a certain way to withstand the pressures of life. Amen. So you're in Christ, your position. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold! Now look at me. I'm new. Amen. Somebody get an answer, Ice. She's about to pass out. <laughs> I see the spirit 
มาเรื่อยอยากคุ้มหลอกเล่นมาฟรีส่งส่งส่งลิมคัทไลฟ์ลิมิตอินฟีดทุกคนเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวฟรีฮิสชิลสุราวด์ as a favor we are walking in favor of God you favor by God that means that you will experience preferential treatment people just gonna do stuff for you just because they like it Amen. 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 But they're gonna show you the favor, and you show it to somebody else. Yes, right. So walk in the favor of God. Live walking in the favor of God. Life living in favor every day. Every day I experience the favor of God. Psalm 65 and 11 says this, saints. He crowned the year with his goodness, and his path dropped fatness. But the problem is. You are not aware of his goodness. You are aware of problems. So every day you wake up, you're looking for problems. Oh, it's another Monday. Stormy Monday. Jesus. It's just as bad. What you are aware of, you attract. It said he crowned the year, brother well, Young. He crowned the year with his goodness. But when you get up, you don't look for good. You look for how terrible things can be, how bad things can be. Correct. But you have to look for the goodness, cause it's all around you. When you look for it, you find it. Amen. When you seek for it, you'll get it. So when you experience life in HD, you experience it in, 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 in hearing and doing. And I'm going to do something right quick um, just to give you a good illustration. Can I get five young people to come this way for me? Right quick. I mean, y'all come in the front right here. I'm going to do this real quick. Like, five, five, five people right here. Five, five young people. Five young people. Right quick. Like. And I want y'all to see something. I want you to take it. Take that. Okay. Go on in. Take that. Follow him. You take that. Follow him. Y'all get right there where they can see. Now you take that. All right. Now I want y'all to look at. I want y'all to look at what y'all have. I want y'all to look at what y'all have, and then I want y'all to tell it what it is. Okay? I want y'all to see this because this is about building on a foundation. Y'all are building on a solid foundation. And most of our lives are built on somebody else's word. Well, you'll never amount to nothing. You ain't gonna be nothing. You just like your old dad. <laughs> he wasn't no good. His daddy wasn't no good. His, his, his daddy, daddy wasn't no good. Ain't none of y'all no good. They must have been some good at the time you got with them. <laughs> but I want to show you how important it is for when you point into your sons. And your daughter. Right. Right. These young people are seeds. Mm -hmm. hmm? Amen. Hold it up, young man. What you have? He has a cantaloupe. Hold up, young lady. What you have? She has a lot of milk. What you have, young lady? She has a cantaloupe. What you have, young lady? She has a watermelon. What you have, young lady? Cantaloupe. She has a cantaloupe. What do all of these have in common? Seeds. They are seeds and they are fruits. Now notice, this watermelon, what kind of watermelon is it? I mean, what kind of cantaloupe is that on the front? Sierra Gold. What kind of cantaloupe do you have? Minnesota Midget. What kind of cantaloupe do you have? Hearts of Gold. They all are cantaloupes. But this particular cantaloupe, it takes 85 days to harvest. This particular cantaloupe takes 65 days to harvest. This cantaloupe takes 70 days to harvest. But they all cantaloupes. You can't raise your children the same because all of them are 
Watermelon? What kind is that? Crimson sweet. I said, Crimson, why? I felt the spirit. I felt the spirit. I said, You got real heavy up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It takes black diamond 75 days to harvest. It takes, it takes, what, crumbs of sweet 85 days to harvest. Jesus says in Mark's gospel, gospel chapter 4, that a soul went forth to sow. And some seed fell on different grounds. Notice this. These are seeds. Guess who was given the seed? The soul. You, you, you as parents, you as leaders, you are as adults, you are the gardeners. So you gotta protect the seed. Anybody here has a beautiful rose garden? Not just a rose garden, but you got a flower bee. You have a flower bee. You have a flower bee. And your flowers are beautiful. Miss Miss Nathan, you raise your hand. You say you have a flower bee. Can I ask a question? When you out there in your flower, flower bed, do you, do you ever talk to your flowers? Sometimes. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You can plant flowers and talk to them and tell them how beautiful they are and watch how they bud. Same way with your children, these young people. Amen. You can talk to them and watch them bud or watch them die. Amen. So you have to make sure when you are planting, all the seed need is, Thomas, all the seed need is water and to be put in the ground. Because the potential to produce is already in the seed. There, listen, there is so much greatness in our young people and in you Amen. that you have to learn how not to be great. Did you know you was taught how not to be great? Because your first words if somebody didn't like your family told you how you was no good. So they teach you how not to be great because you was created by a great creator. And the scripture said everything he made was good and very good. Can y'all get the picture? Right. So all of this good stuff we built on the foundation, you have to pour into them. You have to speak life to them. You have to continue to encourage them. And when you are disappointed with them, you explain to them why you are disappointed. Because you have too much potential to get caught up. I explained to our, my, my son, our son, when they was, when they was younger, and I, I explained to him the little things that, that I experienced in life because of choices I made. Right. It had nothing to do with the devil, Ed. Oh, right. It had nothing to do with the devil. Right. You want to put everything on the devil. The devil made me do it. No, the devil didn't make me do it, I did. So, 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 so I explained to him certain situations, but do not make the same mistakes I made. Do not go down that same road. Now, they still have to make a choice to obey or disobey. Because in probably 60, 70 years, 80 years, I'm going to give y'all some grace. 80 years when you get out of here. Yeah, somebody may be ready to go now. You know, I want to see the Lord, but not today. <laughs> I want to see it, but not in five years. You know, yes, I like to hear my wife sing going up a yon, but I ain't ready to go yet. I still got some, some potential, some purpose. And that's what we say to our young people. Amen. Proverbs writer said this, and I'm going I'm to put back a close. Y'all young people, y'all can say that. Thank you. The Proverbs writer said this, guard your heart.
with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. We have to protect what we hear, what we see, what we allow to come out of our mind. Never say something negative while you're hot. Why you mad? Why you upset? Because you can, you can say sorry, 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 but the words have just gone into the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Right. You can never recover those words. And for some of us who, 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 are, who are a little single, that means a little older, forgive yourself. You ain't the only one who made mistakes. The reason you're still here is because there's purpose still in your life. The scripture says, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart. So to train means to be an example. Somebody has to be an example before I know people. Somebody has to be an example. So example meaning that if I go around some of my old friends and they pull their cooler out, and they pull some cold out the cooler, Water running down the side of the can <laughs> that is very enticing. I just ask for a cold drink. I don't sit in the hell because somebody in the crowd has to be an example. That's right. That's right. The reason I don't want to drink is because I was on that path once before. And I didn't have a, I didn't have a very good outcome. So I don't want to go that route, but I can show you how to really enjoy life without all the headaches and pain. So think about who's in your garden. Last thing. What's the difference between a, a field of weeds and a beautiful garden? They both come from seeds. But the difference is the field of weeds Nobody took care of them. But that beautiful garden, somebody looked after took care of them. You just can't throw the kids away and forget about them. Amen. They have to take care of them Amen. by speaking life into them, by bringing correction when correction is needed. And today, Sometimes the kids are getting away with a whole lot of stuff that we would have never got away with. Amen. And it's doing more damage to the young people than it is anybody. We still know how to say yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. I said, I said yes ma'am to a, to a lady once and she said, oh don't call me ma'am. I said, you're not going to help me be, dis be, dis be disobedient to what I was talking whether you want to hear yes ma'am or not, I'm still going to say it. Because that's just, for me, that's just respect. Amen. For reverence too, I honor you as being a, a, a somebody who's older than I am. So we still have to train our truth. Now you can't get no stitching cards today. You can't get no fan belt today. You, you can't get three switches and time together today. Whatever. <laughs> You can't take a shoe. And, 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 and these are all the things that I was, I was with. So I'm with this. And, and, and take a whooping today. <laughs> now you can if you want to. But to explain the discipline, you, you take that phone away, it's like you, you know, took their life. They don't know how they're going to make it. <laughs> they don't know how they're going to live without their mom. So there are ways to discipline and help understand the reason. So here it is as I close. Understand the seed. The young people. How do I make, how do I make living for God fun? By being an example at home. I still enjoy myself. I still like to get outside and run, play basketball or whatever. I still think I can. <laughs> now some of y'all can't, but I think I can. Tell them 
my son wanted to race me one time. I told him that to run 40 yards. He give me 20. Because he's been working out all the time. Trying to catch me off guard. Can I pray for young people? I, I, I want to pray for young people. Why y'all come right here and look mine? Because there's potential.
for this his child that has come today. And uh, this time I won't go into my remarks, but I gotta call up the uh, the lady that needed some ice. Is she running in the way? There she is. Uh, thank you all so very much. I ain't got that much to say, but thank everybody that was on the program I asked. It's been a long, stressful week, but this is the last day, but everything going to be all right. Amen. I'm just keep trusting the Lord. That's all I'm going to do. And Pastor Will, this is for you from the bottom of my heart.
and we gotta also thank Sister Young for these these programs. Yeah. I look over this stuff and sometimes I look but I don't look. So she said, well, now I got the other part done. Now I need you to really look at it. So they have been really looked at and it's a good job on doing these programs. And uh, we're so grateful to all of y'all that's here. And please, please, ma'am, please, sir, support our young folk on this afternoon. Amen. It will mean a lot to them. Amen. And uh, with, to have your uh, participation. Amen. Amen. And don't forget the offering on this evening, or this afternoon, has been a $50 asking for, uh, for all adults and thank $5 for you for the program on this afternoon. All right. Have you got anything else? All right. All right. Nothing else? Just let us bow our heads. Gracious Father, we thank you now for what our eyes have seen. We thank you for what our ears have heard. But most of all, we thank you for what our hearts have felt. We thank you for the young one that has come and given our life to you. Oh, Father, we pray that you continue to strengthen us, continue to lead and guide and direct. We pray, Father, for our entire family. And we pray, Father, that we may be a beacon of light that will help her along life's journey. And now, Father, there has been some food that has been prepared. We ask that you would bless it. Make it, Father, what you would have it to be. That it may be nourishing for our bodies. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit, may they rest you and abide with us now, henceforth and forevermore. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 I hope you have enjoyed our service with Pastor David T. Young, and we'll see you next week at the same time. May God bless you.